subscribers, YouTube viewers, and my Twitter followers. We're doing a review on a electric fence solar controller. I have one of these. I bought this probably three years ago. It's still doing good. Um, it's only six volts though. It has a six volt battery that you could replace. That's the neat thing. It's not soldered in battery. I've replaced the battery on this unit one time already and it's still working pretty good. It is solar powered though. Uh, if you don't have a good solar day. Um, it does good though. It, um, it has to be like four or five bad solar days before you're in trouble. But if you have one day it's not too good. Solar wise, bright and sunny, um, you'll be okay. The neat thing about this unit with any electric fences, it doesn't have a steady power. It just sends a pulse every two seconds or something through the fence and to the to the grounding rod. So, really doesn't use a lot of power. So, but what's the? Uh, it's rated up to five miles. It has point one joule, joules output it does a very great job uh, I live full time at an RV park <laughs> only one with chickens but uh, the RV park your spaces don't have fences this RV park is pretty cool they'll let you put up some kind of little fence around your spot if you wanted to but that's just a pain in the butt for me to cut the grass and stuff where I'm staying at. Um, I'm responsible for maintaining my yard and cutting my grass and stuff, which is not a big deal. Spaces are not too bad. Uh, my, my space is probably about, I'd say, maybe 30 feet long and maybe a good uh, almost uh, 20 feet wide pretty pretty good space far enough uh, where you're not uh, looking out your window into somebody else's window so I can't complain and it's next to a awesome big lake it has good catfish and bass and all sorts of fish in there crappies and things like that um, I have mine mounted on a post it has it has a little hole underneath it for a post to be stuck in there. If it'll show it, it won't show it. But for the price, uh, they went down. I think I paid about two fifty for mine at Tractor Supply, but for one forty seven forty four, uh, it's worth it. Um. Like I said, the batteries, anything that's solar has batteries in it. Um, it lasted for about two years, and then about the end of the second year, I had to go to Battery Plus and get a replacement battery, which was really easy to take the unit apart, which is pretty cool, and uh, put a new battery in it. And it's working like a charm. I missed a good video today. I had a little Jack Terrier or Jack Russell, small little painly ass dog, thinks he owns the place, come running around. And uh, I had a video of him the day before, but my electric fence, we had a good storm and I didn't check my electric fence and my ground wire came loose, so. That little Jack Russell uh, got close to getting too much chickens, but today <laughs> I didn't catch the little bastard in time to get my webcam going. Uh, he he got his up and canumpins there. Uh, that poor dog got sap pretty darn good. <laughs> I don't think he'll be back, but 
If he does, I got my webcam ready and it's I'm ready for him to come back. But normally, when a cat or a dog hits that little fence, it just knocks them right on their butt and they tear out of here pretty darn quick. <laughs> that little dog. He's full of character, I'll tell ya. He gave me the what for the other day when I came out to scare him away. He just sat there and barked at me. And then uh, today when he got his electric zap, uh, he tore out of my space, hit the road, and stopped and turned around and gave my fence a what for. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it says it's for a five mile range. I uh, don't know if it would be that good for five miles. That's a long run. Um, I just use it around my chicken coop and boy, it, it does a great job for a six volt battery uh, unit. Um, normally when you first buy it though, it tells you, it recommends you to keep it off and let it sit in the sun for two days to fully charge and then after that, you hook it up and forget about it which is pretty much true uh, even I'm in West Texas and winters kind of suck because our daylight time goes a little short we get dark by about 5 30 or 6 and that sucks but it still keeps a good enough charge to really bad combat any little critter at once come around sniffing at the chickens wanting a chicken dinner. Without it, before I didn't have my electric fence, I did lose a coop and a set of chickens that I had before. And that sucked. I didn't think uh, anything about it. It was my first time having chickens and didn't think I needed an electric fence. But for the money I spent for this little unit, it's worth the money. I'm real happy with it. But unfortunately with solar panels, after time, the solar panels do get a little weak and uh, you will have to replace the unit sooner or later. But it's on its third year. It's still doing pretty good. Today it, it proved itself. It really zapped that little dog pretty good. <laughs> And it's not going to kill an animal. It's a deterrent. It's not made to kill anything, but it will give it a good wake-up call. But they're on. Uh, let's see if it has any more specs or anything here. Uh, let's see. But yeah, I, I am very impressed with this little unit. I did end up uh, the other day when it didn't work for me. I thought maybe my solar panels finally pittered out. And the bad thing too is if you're cleaning the solar panel here, it's not really grounded. If you touch it with a wet rag, you're going to get a zap. So be aware of that. But it's all right. You're not going to die. <laughs> Wake you up. You'll go... Ah, but just some more stuff about this. I bought a newer one. Um, it's on its way. I'll have to do a review on that one. Let's see if I say more. Doesn't have any more information. But, uh, it's definitely seen better days. All these stickers and stuff on my controller are just getting sunbeat. That's uh, getting kind of worn a little bit. The stickers here. So, for three years, it's saved my chickens several hundred times from raccoons, from uh, possums to skunks to. RVers that are stupid enough to let their dogs run free in an RV park or even stray dogs that come walking in the park once in a while. Um, they uh, get their zap and they never come around again. If they do, they, they kind of sit at the road and look. <laughs> 
that. Uh, like I said, if you got chickens, even at, for the home, if you have backyard chickens for your house, uh, you don't need a six foot electric fence. My fence is only about two feet high. Uh, all the way around my, my chicken coop. And it's about a foot away from the coop. So if there is an animal it gets past the, the wires and they gotta bend down to start digging. Once their butt hits the wires and that that little surge of electricity every two seconds hits them, they usually do backflips and run away pretty quick. So and this will let you know every two seconds you'll see this light blink that's sending a pulse through your fence to the grounding wire real easy connections you know you got your ground and positive here terminals so you hook this one to your fence this to your ground uh, your ground you have to get your grounding stake either copper uh, stake Preferably at least six feet deep, so six feet long, so you can have a good ground. The uh, reason you need to have a gr good ground stake is uh, if you don't keep your ground stake wet, and it's a short ground stake, uh, the ground dries up, especially in West Texas. It doesn't rain a lot, so... So the deeper you go, the moisture, the dirt stays, and then you have a good ground all the time. And then your fence will work for you. But you do have to keep the weeds off of your fence, because weeds will short out your fence, and they won't give you the strong shock you need to deter any kind of predators that are trying to come around. Like I said, it's not a very big unit. It's uh, easy to store if you're not going to use it. It'd be good for camping, too, if you're out camping somewhere. Not too heavy to carry around with you. The only problem would be carrying stakes and the wires and stuff to make a perimeter around your camp. Just in case you got bears around. This thing probably wouldn't deter a bear. Bear probably feel the jolt and say, what the hell's that? <laughs> but for a dog or a coyote or something, or a raccoon or skunk or something, it'll definitely take that, first, that little critter. Make that little critter find a new camping ground. Uh... But yeah, I'll go out and do a review of my fence and how to set it up. It's pretty easy to set up. But it does have uh, pigs, sheep, and horses, and dogs, and cows. So it's good enough for that. So, and it does do the job. It does a real good job. It has a one-year warranty. I think mine had a two-year warranty, uh, but one year's okay. You could always get a warranty if you wanted to, I think. There's a uh, warranty on this. I guess they don't have one. But you could go to Tractor Supply. They got them too, but I don't know how much they are Tractor Supply. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a fun New Year's. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.